Hey, art class, welcome back. Mr. G here today, your virtual reality professor this week. Uh, today, I'm going to be diving into creating in the virtual landscape space. I'm over here in my wonderful intergalactic space station uh, floating above that planet which I don't know what it is. It might be Earth. It might be Mars. There's a little bit of both to it to me. I don't know where I am. But I can say that this is amazing. So let's get into how to draw in VR. Now, today's app that I'm going to be using is OpenBrush. This is through the App Lab. This is a free version of Google's Tilt Brush. It's still using the same principles of uh, of Tilt Brush. It's just called Open Brush. There's a few different ones in the App Lab area. So if you guys have a VR headset and you've put it into developer mode, there's other videos online. Look up how to put your headset into developer mode to get App Lab and to get uh, side quests and a whole bunch of free apps. But this is amazing. So powered by Tilt Brush, this is Google's open source software to create with. So in front of me, I got two controllers that I can draw with. And uh, for the first one on the on the left, we use that one to draw the one that is on the right, I can use to bring up my uh, different brush pieces, and I can change which ones I do. So left and right on that to change between my color palette, the the ways that my brushes work so if i want a mirror design if i want to move around to different spaces if i need a straight edge eraser and then my different brushes that i have over here so this is where we draw in vr and how to draw the cool thing about this is we now have endless drawing applications building applications endless supplies in our fingertips so we can do a 2d application a 3d application an animation all that from this app so in front of me i have my board and i'm going to reach down i'm going to use my two interior controllers to grab and i'm going to lift my board up and i'm going to change my space so that i have a little board to work on again just pull it up a little more and work on it so over here i have the land that i'm working on i can move this down and take an interior view of it but this is really amazing because we can now see two-dimensional designs in a 3d space which is what i really love so let's say that we were drawing a house we have to drop a side pull our wall in and we put the roof on top so we can see a house it's again not major detail drawing but what we can do is instead of looking at it from a 2d perspective we can switch it to a 3d perspective so you can see the thinness of the line how there's nothing really there but if i draw the line back I don't know why it's kind of going sluggish today. I will say that I think because since the last update that Facebook put out for this, that it has become a lot more sluggish, which I'm not really pleased with. Uh, but it's one of those things that are it's beyond my control, but definitely want you guys to understand what's going on. So I've got my four walls. Then I can look at, let's say we want to talk about a three quarter view and I can see just this side of it and how these lines go back at an angle so that we can say that, yes, when we look at it, it's a flat line. These are flat shapes. But when we're talking about 3D, how they go back in a direction. This is something that most kids have a lot of trouble with. I will say that when I was teaching perspective prior, it was at least age nine before people would get it really well because the understanding how space and how distance works that some students had a lot of issue with that. Mm, so much lag in there. But let's say I wanna see inside my house, I can go ahead and I can zoom in, put this back on the floor so I can walk into my little house. And then inside my house, we wanna start building some furniture. Raise it up a little bit. So we'll start here in the bottom. Let's see what, I'm gonna change my color. So we got a nice red over here. So starting off with my red, I'm gonna build. One rectangle there, we're gonna come up, bring this over. I'm gonna do make a little box. Straight up. Now, got a little dresser over here inside. Let's switch that down to the Let's use a different brush. I think I'm going to get nice and wet. And able to draw all this different stuff so that we can create these spaces for our students to see and our students to interact with. I think this is a great thing to do because sometimes students don't have good understanding of how things are spatially in their space, in their in their artworks. Or one of those, I think it's the Iowa test where you have to assess a kid's ability to understand how space works. We can zoom out so we can actually look at our nice little cabinet inside of our house. So using all of these different tools allows us to create a whole new space without, oh wow. I can just attach from that line. So let's say we want to go over to my house here. I want to 
do some siding on it. Let's do a nice green. I want to put in the side. It's a nice guide to use. Uh, you have all of these different tools in, at your disposal to create three-dimensional artworks in a way that most people don't really understand like that your students can create these things and they can port them out i'm recording this right now you can record this upload this and use it as a as a tool of how these kids create where their lines are, are having issues if you have a, a student who has uh, special needs and they need to you need to be able to assess how their arm is moving or how uh, or how they're adapting to certain parameters that might be something to think about when you're when you're working on in this kind of program because it allows you to create whole different spaces without any issue whatsoever so now we're creating these different motions and movements in our piece as the lines are coming back and moving across again we're doing so solid animations here let's put this on the ground now when we look up at the sky we have all of our movement in front of us i can go back and i can erase different portions of that and i can fine tune it add to it so now we have our motion in our sky i think having students understand that you can create these simple line drawings to create a more rounded art piece where you can see stuff in space and how stuff moves and you can create all the different stuff that van gogh made in these kinds of paintings and i think that's just something fun to do because i don't think students understand the amount of things that they can do in these in these things in these places where what we can we can build we can create we can do so much stuff with this disco one i can actually make the road that Van Gogh's traveling along. We have our hillside up here where we start. Up here at the start, you have those cypress trees. If you really look and pay attention to Starry Night, where you have the beginning of Journey for Van Gogh, so you have these pieces here. Does this kind of look familiar? Where you have the stuff here and you have the village down here, stuff in the background. I need to paint the moon up in the sky, but you have all the different com uh, combined elements to create all these wonderful drawings from the artworks that we remember, and it's just just wonderful. We got our moon up there in the sky. This is something that I like to do. Okay, I, I'm gonna keep working on this, and uh, maybe I'll upload it to my Instagram, so keep your eyes out for it. And uh, so wrapping up class like we always do, don't forget to like, subscribe, share all the various platforms. Want to get the message out there to as many teachers, friends, students as we possibly can. Want to educate the masses, try and create something fun for all of us, because when we all learn together, we all have a lot more fun together. All right, I, I'm gonna keep working on this. If you guys had a question, comment, or concern during today's class, raise your hands in the comments below. Happy to answer those class questions from my classmates. Uh, other than that, I will see you guys next class. So until then, later guys.